What's up guys, it's Virtual Beats coming at you live once again from the simulation. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your own vocal presets in FL Studio. So it can be confusing for people that are just starting off, you're trying to get that mix, you're trying to have that preset that you can load it up, be ready to go, ready to record, or maybe you wanna maybe make presets of your own to give out to people. I'll be showing you how to do that as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right here, I have a song pulled up that was on my EP simulation, you know, check it out, a little, little promo, but we're gonna mix it all over again with my free stock plugin preset, all right? This is free stock vocal preset. If you wanna download it, it'll be linked below. My whole like premise of this video is not to sell this preset or nothing. I want you guys to learn the structure. What I really want you guys to learn from this video is the structure and the way you use plugins when mixing. All right, if you can get that down, you can make any vocal preset that you want. All right, trust. So the first thing you need to know when it comes to making vocal presets is we're not gonna call them vocal presets, all right? Throw that out the window, we're calling a vocal chain, all right? We're chaining a bunch of plugins together to get that, you know, vocal that we want, all right? So this is the stock plugin preset that I made. And if you want to download it, like I said, link below, or you can just add plugins as we go. That's what I would recommend. Just add plugins, especially if you use third party plugins and you don't really use too many stock, just add as we go. One thing you need to know is that when mixing vocals, they have to follow a structure. Whatever you put at the top matters. It has to be in a specific order. All right. So whatever you have at the top is the first thing that's going through your vocals. So. The structure, this is a basic structure that I'm about to show you and you guys can go ahead and make little tweaks and little adjustments where you guys want. All right, so the structure for vocals that I commonly use on this channel and that you see a lot of engineers use, and this is just the basic, all right, I'm not going crazy crazy because we're not gonna talk about preamps and all that, but if you want, you know, comment below. All right, so the structure is we need something to remove noise from our vocal, all right? We need something to tune our vocal which is auto-tune. We need something to EQ the bad frequencies out of our vocal and boost you know, the, the frequencies we want and maybe cut out more. We're gonna need a de to get rid of the S's, you know, the harshness in the vocal. We're gonna need a compressor to make our vocals more consistent so we're heard, you know, we hear that powerful vocal pop in the mix. It's right in the middle of the mix, you know, it's just, it's hidden. And then everything after that, is you know basically used to make your voice blend into the song reverbs delays wideness plugins anything like choruses distortions those are all you know little 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 things effects that you can use to get the vibe of you know match the vibe of the song match the energy of the beat this plugin right here is a free plugin i'll link it down below and it's you know it's a good alternative if you're looking for something to widen the vocals and you don't want to you know, break the bank. We're going to go ahead, solo out the vocals. That's what I would recommend. Solo out the vocals and just really clean them up. So right here, this is just removing background noise from the vocals. Um, if you downloaded my preset or if you're making it from the ground up, I just use the noise gate feature and then I'll just adjust this. You don't want this too high because then the vocals will cut. So sweet spot is like right here so let me solo it out okay i thought you were supposed to be my bae but you want to go ahead and cheat on me what the fuck man i don't know how to act how you had to act how to go ahead and treat a man i guess you don't know how to act it must run and then you know i tuned it up with this auto-tune picture is a little 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 little, little wonky auto-tune but hey man you know we, we gotta use something you know we gotta use something that's that's stock but like I said, you can replace these with whatever. We tune the vocals. Now we gotta get all that mud, all that. I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want. You hear me like rapping okay, like all that, ooh, 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 like that, that low nasty, nastiness. You need to remove it. So, oh my God, are they doing construction? So right here, this, this EQ, if you have a USB microphone, listen up, all right? This EQ right here is going to cut the lows, the, na the nasty lows that we don't need because, you know, we want the 808s and the bass to have that room. You know, we want to be in our, our area, which is around here. So 
we cut the lows. If you have a USB mic, like I said, pay attention. These frequencies right here, these little numbers right here, they're all cutting out bad frequencies. And when you have a USB mic, nine out of 10 times, actually 10 out of 10 times, you should be doing this, all right? If you have a good microphone, you know, expensive microphone, maybe a Neumann, you know, you, you, you might not have to do this because it just, it's, it's not a bad mic. I mean, to know what you're, where you should be EQing on your microphone, Google your, the name of your microphone and type in polar pattern. And it'll show you like a little graph of where your microphone strengths and weaknesses are at. And you just apply accordingly to the EQ and, you know, be using your ears. Don't be too focused with your eyes. Remember guys, use your, use your ears when you're doing this. So how you would frequency sweep. We're going to start it all over. We would right click the first one, make it a high pass filter. So this is just so we can cut the lows. It has to be a high pass. If you just go ahead and you, you know, leave it, let's say, let's put it on default again. If you just go ahead and go like this, it's not gonna work the same. The strength is not gonna work the same. For some reason on FL, if you do it like this, it'll cut out a lot of the lows, but it's not gonna get all of them. But if you go to type and you go to high pass, now it knows that, okay, we gotta get these sounds out of here. We need them gone. And what I like to do is go up here and just move this up a few so I can get a little a little sharp, you know, angle and just adjust. So I'll go anywhere from 120 to 150 because I have a, you know, hurts. I have a deep voice. So I'll just cut out the lows. K, I thought you were supposed to be my bae. You hear all that. K, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want to go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? You don't know how to act. Didn't your mom tell you how to act? How to go ahead and treat a man? I guess you'll know how to act. It must run. Then what I would do is all these colors, except the first purple and the last blue, all these colors are going down. You gotta just put them all down, put them all down, put them all down. You can do this with any EQ. Then we're gonna bring up this too. And we're just gonna look for frequencies that are annoying. You're not gonna hear too much harsh noise, but if you have a USB mic, you know, you're going to hear a lot more than I do. Right now I'm using uh, the Neumann 102 when I recorded this song. K, I I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want to go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? You don't know how to act. Didn't your mom tell you how to act? How to go ahead and treat a man? I guess you'll know how to act. It must run in the family. Huh? I thought you was fam to me. K, I I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want to go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? You don't know how to act. Didn't your mom tell you how to act? How to go ahead and treat a man? I guess you'll know how to act. It must run in the family. Huh? I thought you was fam to me. I like to do like a little staircase. Uh, if I'm using the USB mic, I might go all the way to like, you know, 12 or, you know, maybe lower. Oh, I got to fix this. Let me dial this back. Do it like that. There we go. But yeah, you can go as low as 12 or six and just make it a staircase. You know, you don't want to cut too much because you want, you know, your vocal to still have presence. Then, you know, for the people that just use USB mics, you know, you still got to add another EQ to cut more, you know, to do extra. But if you don't have a USB mic, you know, you could ignore this first thing. So we're cutting lows. And, you know, even if you want to still cut frequencies, you feel like it'll help you go ahead and, you know, cut frequencies on an expensive mic, you know, do what you got to do. Uh, now we just do the same thing, but we're boosting stuff instead of cutting. So I like to boost the highest so my vocal has more presence. So this is what it sounds like without it. I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want to go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? And then on here, so I cut more lows and boost it. Okay, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want to go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? And one important thing that you had to know when you're making these vocal presets or you're mixing, you have to end... Uh, you have to end, oh my God. You have to end at the six, all right? The vocals had to be at the six. You want them to go no higher than the six, all right? So if they're higher than the six, they're gonna clip. Okay, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you wanna go ahead and cheat on me, what the fuck? You wanna stay right on the six as much as you can. Okay, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you wanna go. Every time you enable plugins, turn on plugins, it's either gonna make the vocal louder or higher. If you want the vocal to be right there, don't turn off. I see this a lot. A lot of you guys will mix the vocal. You'll probably add like a reverb and it'll make the vocal like really quiet. And then you'll you'll, you'll be like, oh dang, I'm gonna turn off the reverb because it, it dropped the volume down. Like, no, you can keep that. 
just use this knob right here on the on the slot to bring it up to where it needs to be so just make sure you end at six after you're done so i'm gonna go ahead turn on maximus like i said this is dsing so all i do is just do preset ds narrow band and then call it a day there's a bunch of other dsers out there you could use fruity compressor i'm not really gonna go fully fully like in depth with all this stuff i have you know video one of the most popular videos on the channel check it out this i cover the whole preset entirely all right i just want you guys to understand the structure and how to develop because a lot of you guys are already mixing and making songs after the compression after all that we got the vocal sounding good so this is without mixing okay i thought you were supposed to be my bae but you want to go ahead and cheat on me what the fuck man and then now we have the, the cleaned up vocal. Okay, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you wanna go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? You don't know how to act, then your mom act. How to go ahead and treat a man? I guess you don't know how to act. It must run in the family, huh? I thought you. And then I would turn on the beat, and now I would use effect plugins like a wide. You could use wide. You could use reverb. You could use delay. Those are the three most common that you see in a lot of songs. Um, Maybe if you're making Screamo or you're making NASCAR low type music, maybe you want a, a fruity distortion, something to distort your vocals, make you sound grungy. Maybe if you're making like underground, like Jace, maybe you want to record with fruity chorus, something that can make you sound like, you know, like have that alien spacey sound. But yeah, so I'm gonna use these plugins to go ahead and make the vocal match with the beat. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you want to go ahead and cheat on the fuck, man. You don't know how to act, then your mom Treat a man, I guess you don't know how to act It must run in the family, huh? I thought you was fam to me Hey, I thought you was supposed to be my bae But you wanna go ahead and cheat on me What the fuck, man? You don't know how to act Then your mom tell you how to act How to go ahead and treat a man I guess you don't know how to act It must run in the family, huh? I thought you was fam to me to be my bae but you want to go ahead and cheat on me what the fuck man you don't know how to act then your mom tell you how to act how to go ahead and treat a man i guess you know how to act it must run in the family uh i thought you was fam to me hey I, hey i thought you was supposed to be hey i thought you was supposed to be my bae but you want to go ahead and cheat on me what the fuck man you don't know how to act your mom tell you how to act, how to go ahead and treat a man. I guess you'll know how to act. It must run in the family. Uh, I thought you was fam to me. All right, so then once you got the vocal chain that you need, that you like, instead of having to load all these plugins, just right click it, go to file, go to save, save it on your computer, wherever you feel like is the best location. You know, let's, let's make a folder for it. I think I have a folder in here. I, I had this vocal preset. Let's say we'll call it, you know, I don't know, we'll call it, you can call it whatever you want, you know, we'll call it well-spoken vocals, you know, it has clarity. We'll call it clear, you know, because it sound, it sound clear. And then you would go ahead, save it, boom. You'll have a little file on your computer. So right here, look, clear vocals. I can go ahead, anytime I want this, I can go ahead and drag it on like that. Or I can load it manually. All right, so this part right here is stock. And then this second part is third party. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see what they sound like, the quality difference. Okay, I thought you were supposed to be my bae, but you wanna go ahead and cheat on me. What the fuck, man? You don't know how to act, then your mom tell you how to act, how to go ahead and treat a man. I guess you don't know how to act, it must run in the family. Uh, I thought you was fam to me, but it's okay. I'ma retreat, I'ma go ahead, get another shawty, she gonna go, learn to love me, she gonna go, learn to trust me, and we gonna go, stack up the cash, and we gonna get it, really, really fast, I'ma get my coin, like a Mario Bro, and I'm never gonna fall for these hoes, it's okay, they say, I got to change, stay out my lane, unless you want pain, cause I got pain, if they try to take my clout, huh, they gon' be straight on the ground, Huh? They gon' be straight on they back, huh? Better know how to go at, huh? 
retro be hopping on these tracks Yeah, I make it look easy, huh All these people, man, they be sleazy, huh All these people, man, they eat greasy, yeah That's why they be losing, huh That's why they always be choosing Switching up, I don't even know who to trust Same people trust, don't give you they love And that's gonna wrap it up for this video If you guys learned something, leave a like for your boy virtual Leave a comment down below if you guys want me to cover anything, if you want me to cover a specific sound or a specific artist, I got you guys. All right. Join a Discord server, you know, share your work, make a connection. You know, I'll be there from time to time. Maybe we can cook, you know, who knows? But that being said, my name is Virtual Beats and I'm signing out the simulation.